Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. In past uh, couple of video tutorials, uh, we have seen uh, how to create a Spring Boot uh, based application using Eclipse, right? And uh, there we have uh, manually all dependency and kind of properties, right? So Java versions, parent dependency and dependency like a starter project like Wave right and eclipse i mean a spring boot maven plugin we have added manually so uh, basically to add this dependency basically we should not spend uh, we should not basically manually add these things so a spring boot provides a lot of facility to create a spring boot based project in different ways and as a developer you should not worry about to add these things manually uh, rather these things is these things is already automated so you can use some automation or some other approach to add this dependency in POM right and uh, you should more and more focus on the uh, to write a business logic so here in this video tutorial we are going to create a uh, basically restful web services uh, using a spring boot but uh, at this time we are not uh, going to create a maven based project manually in eclipse right so that's what we are we have a second so in beginning i have shown you this slide right so what we have discussed uh, we are going uh, in initially we have followed this approach eclipse maven based project we have created and uh, Eclipse, uh, I mean, a Spring Boot related dependency we have added manually in the pom.xml, right? Now we are going to use uh, a Spring Initializer, such so as official website and URL of this website. Website is start.spring.io, and this basically is an online uh, website uh, or you can say online tool. They are using this tool, uh, you can create a, a Spring Boot application. So here is the browser. Let's type start dot spring dot io and this is called spring initializer so here this basically this this is basically online uh, website to create a spring uh, boot related project so here you can see details like generate a uh, maven or gradle based project so here we are selecting maven and with java itself we are just going to select the java and a spring boot version you can select version you can select 1.5.4 is the latest stable version if you would like to adhere with the previous version that is 1.4.7 that is also stable and uh, we have a, a spring boot 2 right a spring boot version 2 that is not stable yet and there is some snapshot on that is that that is uh, this, these are the two snapshots so uh, basically 1.5.4 is the stable version so that we are going to select here you as we know that when you create a maven based project then you need to specify some uh, basic information like group as well as artifact id group id as well as artifact id so this information you need to fill basically and uh, uh, here uh, you can select uh, uh, like uh, you can search for the dependency like wave you select for the wave then our uh, drop down comes here you can select wave and if you are interested to select some other things like actuator something is called actuator that we will discuss in the future tutorial so here and you can see these dependencies gets added automatically right and uh, there is another provision to add this dependency as well so here you can see switch to the full version so click over here then you can see so here they have different categories right we have a core right if you are interested to add some dependency related to a security op right so a lot of dependencies some caching dev tools etc as another category we have a wave so so in previous video we have added dependency for this wave manually right and saying that full stack web development with tomcat and mbc spring mbc so uh, as i said spring boot comes with the embedded tomcat itself so that's what this dependency we had added in previous video tutorial manually so we don't need to really add uh, these things manually so here 
I'm going to specify some basic information like group. I'm going to specify com dot info tech, right? Dot app uh, artifact. I'm going to specify a student uh, a spring boot app, right? So name will automatically will get changed. So so whatever you are entering artifact that is this is taken same as that and rest of the things packaging i will leave as a jar itself version java version uh, as i said spring boot is compatible with the jdk 1.6 and above version so i am keeping 1.8 itself here some dependency i am going to select like wave so wave dependency this comes with the embedded uh, tomcat so if you select this dependency then you will be uh, able to create any kind of web based application right and uh, rest of the things as of now we can skip so there are a lot of dependency you can select over here as per your requirement so rest of the things we'll talk later so after selecting this much things just let's click on the generate project and a uh, jeep file is getting downloaded here you can see jeep is getting downloaded so let me go to this location so jeep has downloaded now what i'll do i'll extract this one let's extract over here itself and after extracting let's copy this project and i'm gonna copy in my workspace which i had created in previous video so here is our workspace here i'm gonna copy this and let's import this project in our eclipse itself right so go to the new sorry not new go to the import import and here you have a something is called maven right select maven select this option existing maven projects click on the next and you can browse the location where you have kept your extracted project right so that we have kept in the our workspace itself so go to the workspace and here is the project a student a spring boot app so select this guy so POM will be selected automatically and click on the finish so this way you can import this project in your uh, existing workspace right now if you extract this guy then one class is getting added automatically got added automatically right this class basically this kind of class boot a strapping class in earlier video we have written manually but when you use a spring initializer to create a spring boot related project then this class boot bootstrap class is got added automatically now uh, what we will do we will create one uh, rest controller so uh, keep the package name as com dot info take dot app dot student spring boot app uh, dot controller control right so this is the package and i would say a student controller i click on the finish and mark this class as a rest controller so i think dependent jars is still getting downloaded from central repository so yeah so all jars have been downloaded now now we are going to create a very simple hello uh, resource so that will return a string itself so hello and this is going to return your hello message hello world so initial few projects we are going to keep as as much as simple right so here basically we are just so here in previous video we have used annotation request uh, mapping here i am going to use another annotation is called uh, get mapping and that is very similar to request mapping itself right so here get mapping is basically this annotation is designed for the get the get http method right http method get so here you don't need to really specify the http methods right so that is this annotation is basically this is very much equivalent to like this if you write a 
request mapping request mapping and you would write notation like this and here you would specify the http methods right like this request method uh, sorry request method you specify the get method right instead of writing like this directly you can write this these two things is equivalent right this is the one of the new addition uh, in the latest spring right so either you write this or this both are same right so almost we have written now let's run this project so and uh, if you create i mean a spring uh, boot project using a spring initializer then application dot properties automatic that gets added automatically right so here you can write a lot of properties so those things we'll discuss in let, uh, later video tutorial so now let's uh, run this application right so this is the boot strapping class here you go to the here and or you can click on the right click on this uh, class and run as a java application right so let's see as we discussed spring boot comes comes with the embedded tomcat and you can see now here you can see the spring boot logo and say that version 1.5.4 and uh, here you can see now your tomcat is running on the port it's called 8080 now go to the browser and uh, let's Hit this URL, base URL of your project. And, uh, I was supposed to get a message. So, http colon slash slash localhost colon 8080. Right, and press enter. And here we got the response, right? So, that means this project is working perfectly fine, right? so as at this time uh, we spend very less amount of time as as previous as we created uh, in the previous uh, project right in previous project everything we have entered manually so let's have a look into uh, pom.xml so here we have a pom.xml and at this time we haven't added anything in the pom.xml right so here you can see so a lot of things like group id artifact id version packaging earlier packaging we had added manually right here some of the things these things are optional that got added automatically in earlier project parent we had added uh, added manually but at this time when we had used uh, a spring initializer uh, uh, when we have when, when you use a spring initializer to create a spring boot project then this dependency gets added automatically and property, property inside the properties java version is getting uh, added automatically uh, again project build source encoding uh, uh, these, these are the things getting added automatically and uh, while creating the project we had added uh, web as a dependent projects right so a spring boot a starter web got added automatically right and uh, if you might be interested to write some test cases so uh, spring boot in a slicer has added uh, a starter test as a dependency as well right and this plugin in earlier video we had added uh, manually so at this time th this was added uh, automatically right so whatever and uh, uh, if you go to the maven dependency then all dependency which is required to create a standard web based application right so all dependency uh, is getting downloaded from the central repository and that's get, got added in the uh, maven dependency right so here you can see all dependency you can see which is required to create a uh, your web based application a standard web based application got added in your maven dependencies right so in this vid video we have learned how to create a, a spring boot application uh, using uh, is a spring in its Lizer, right so that's all i wanted to uh, cover in this video so i hope uh, you understood whatever i wanted to show in this video tutorial this code i'm going to uh, upload the github uh, github location i will uh, specify in the video description so thanks for watching this video and next video we'll see 
uh, one more approach to create a Spring Boot uh, application. So please be there and thanks for watching.